This is what you call mucking out. Well, go on, get on with it. Go on. Why do you just pig in muck? Well, I don't like it. The kitchen? I didn't get no flash fries. Oh, no, not that. I mean, I don't want any Germans here. We'd all be murdered in our beds. Same thing! Most of the farms in the county have got prisoners of war. Have you heard of any murders? Well, they keep that kind of thing out of the papers. Anyway, they go back to their camps at night. Yes, I've seen them going through the village. They look like animals. Well, Mary, we need more men. Well, we can do without them. Well, have you got any better suggestions? Thank you. Oh, what's happened now? <laughs> Don't you? If you walk down the stairs, you wouldn't have accidents. I'm a wounded soldier like Uncle Dick. I didn't know Uncle Dick was wounded. When's he going to come and see me? I don't know. Well, he'll be away fighting the war. No, he's not. He's at the Red Lion. He don't wear his uniform no more. You tell him to come and see me. Yes, sir. I'll see what I can do. Now, wounded soldiers need plenty of rest. Shall I take you upstairs? I don't need no help. Tizzy? What on earth do you think you're doing? on his ordinary clothes went out for a drink. That's my explanation. And you don't believe it for one minute. You've got your Russell face on. Have I? Yes. And it says I've got an idea in my head and nobody's going to stop me following it through. Really? Russell faces I can read like a book. Well, you've had plenty of practice. Yes. So when are you going to London? I thought tomorrow. while you're away. Who? The German. Oh, don't worry, you won't. They said they give us plenty of warning. Well, I'm telling you again, I'm having no filthy Germans anywhere near my kitchen. Very well. We'll lay barbed wire all round it. Mommy, I'll die. Oh, good afternoon. Uh, may I speak to Mrs. Russell, please? Oh, I'm sorry she's in London today. Oh, that's a pity, Eva. I've got some good news for her. Well, I can take a message. Uh, well, she's been inquiring about a prisoner of war, and I'd be pleased if you tell her I've managed to get her one. Why, what's wrong? You call that good news? Well, it's what you requested, and not many people have been so lucky. Why, we'll all be murdered in our beds. Oh, nonsense. Most of them are jolly decent chaps. Very hard working, too. You'll not get very far thinking like that, my good woman. Oh, don't you... Now, listen. Will you please tell Mrs. Russell he'll be dropped off here at the end of the lane tomorrow morning at about 8 o'clock. We'll pick him up at the same place tomorrow evening at 8 o'clock. Very good. No, to at least out that way. Oh, dear. Do you know the brewery? Ah, yes, only one. That'll be the Falcon. Can you take me there? Jump in. Hello, hello. Could you wait for me, please? 
Morning. Good morning. I wonder if you can help me. I'm looking for Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright? Well, look at you, girl. You found him already. Now, nah, go on. He's here. You'll find Joe Wright in the office. I'm looking for Dick Wright. Oh, nice. Oi, Bert! Joe ain't got a boy called Dick, has he? No. Got a Charlie, he's in Belgium. You don't know him, then? Why do you think we should know him? He used to come round here, looking at the horses. With a little boy called Tizzy. Tizzy? Oh, I remember you. You're Tizzy's auntie. Yes. You do know him, then? Yeah, I never knew his name. Fairhead. Yes. Do you know where he lives? Uh, I've got no idea. Now, wait a minute. I've seen him about somewhere. In a pub? The Red Lion? Oh, might have been. Yes. He used to wait on in the pub. You know, he used to open the cellar up for yeah, us. Yeah, that's him. Do you know which Red Lion? Oh, all right. Now, now you've got me, love. Yeah, but when he delivered the three Red Lions. Yeah, that's true. And we did the one in Middleton Street yesterday, yeah. and he certainly wasn't there. Then I've only got two to visit. Thank you. No one's having me in there, Mum. Let's try the other one. Very good, Mum. Wait a minute. I'm coming in with you this time. Buy me a drink. Yeah, very much. Hello, Dick. Sorry, old habits. Should have died a long time ago. Yeah. Excuse me. look very well. Should have seen me a year ago. Walking skeleton I was. TB. But they caught it in time. Thanks to the Germans, you could say. Thanks to the Germans? Well, if it hadn't been for a piece of German shell, I'd never have gone to hospital. And if I hadn't have gone to hospital, they'd never have found out that I had TB. When did all this happen? July the 25th, 1916. Assault on Posnia little village in France. Big bang. And lots of lovely peace and quiet. Sounds awful. Not awful in the least. Best thing that ever happened. How do you mean? Well, I'm here. And I'm alive. You see, miss, there's an awful lot of people over here who think it's a wonderful, glorious thing, this war. I'll tell you how glorious it is. You go over the top, a hundred of you all together. Five minutes later, the six of you are left. And what for? I don't know. No one knows. You could forget all that. Come back to Flambards, build yourself a new life. Oh, no, miss, no. That's not for me. I'm not fit. I'm not asking you to do heavy work. 
I'm asking you to take charge. That's yesterday's world. I'm finished with it. So am I. I'm not talking about servants and masters. Aren't you? There's been a lot of changes at Flambard's. I'm running it as a farm now. A proper farm. We're going into production, Dick. I can see that. When? <sighs> I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. Next month. That'll put me out of my stride for a bit. I need you to help me, Dick. Well, I can't. Are you angry I took him away? No. I was angry with his mother at the time. Very angry. Is he happy? Very happy. I thought he'd be homesick, but he loves Flambard. Yeah, I miss him. He misses you. <laughs> He's a rascal, isn't he? To take some handling. That's another reason I need you, Dick. That's blackmail. It's your world, Mom, not mine. Well, at least I tried. Perhaps when you're better, you'll change your mind. Perhaps. Usual. Well, just as I thought. Your little fellow's turned round. Already? Oh, it's not early. Generally happens about this time. I think he used his elbows to turn himself round. Your blood pressure's high, though. Is that serious? Not unless it gets worse. Only a fraction. Probably due to all the gallivanting round London you did today. I was sitting all the time in trains and cabs. And you didn't happen to slip into a shop or two? I had some time on hand before the train back and I bought some things for the baby. Aha! Uh -huh. oh, Dr. Porter, you don't expect me to lie in bed all day doing nothing. Far from it, my dear. But you can whistle without blowing your teeth out. Pardon? One of my grandfather's expressions. Take it easy. That's the answer. Well, I never could whistle. Feminine logic. No problem for the boy, I expect. Oh, that's easy. William. Of course. Aunts like having little girls named after them. Oh, yes. Aunt Grace and Aunt Maggie. Oh, she'd have to be called both names. And then would it be Margaret Grace or Grace Margaret? <laughs> There's always the feminine version of William. Wilhelmina. I know, I thought about that. Somehow Wilhelmina seems to... Yes, I suppose it does. Mm -hmm. Mind. You'll settle on something soon enough, I expect. Uh, have you noticed uh, your ankles swelling at all? No. Well, they won't, will they? Some women's do. Oh, dear. It's the fluid, you know. I've seen them. It looks awful. They get very upset about it sometimes, the ladies. Good night. <laughs> soon been comforted by the promise of a treat, a jaunt on the river in Mr. Rat's real boat, and the two animals conducted Tizzy, are you listening? Yes. How can you listen and play with your soldiers? I just can. Have you got a story about soldiers? No. Or Zeppelins? I don't think Emily's written any yet. Then you can. I'm not clever enough. Come on, time for bed. Just one more story first. 
We'll see when you tap tap. Put your soldiers away. to shoot him. You better not. Does his wife a Zeppelin? I don't know. You have to ask him. Who told you he was coming? Stanley and Abby say they're going to kill him with a pitchfork. Oh, do they? Where am I going to get my pony? As soon as I find one for sale. I'd rather like a white one. Well, I'll see what I can do. Close your eyes. Now go to sleep. Good night. I really am going to shoot that German for wormsing Uncle Dick. Shh. Go to sleep. Mary, please stop looking at the clock. Why can't I play with the ones upstairs? Because they break too easily and they don't even fly. Now, this will fly. This will fly like a bird. Go and try it. There's nothing to be frightened of. I'm not so sure about that. Flying there? Every time. Do you Das war eine Überraschung, Kleiner, wie? Morgen, gnädige Frau. Feldwebel Schäse. Welcome to Flambards. Es tut mir leid, ich verstehe kein Englisch. Oh dear. Don't you speak any English at all? Oh Lord. Fowler will just have to show you what to do. Fowler? Harry? Stanley? Ask him up, because he go and ask him. Shh, I want you all to meet our prisoner of war. Now, he's come here to work, so if any of you want to fight, I suggest you go and join the army. Take yourselves off to France. All right. We'll carry on mending the fence in the south field. He looks as though he could swing a sledgehammer. So oh, I ain't giving him a sledgy. He smashed my skull in. Fowler, there will be no war at Flambard's. You, Fitz, come on. Come on. Zeppelin, Zeppelin! 
Was sagt der Kleine? Zeppelin? He wants to know if you drive a Zeppelin. Ich? Nein. Wie erkläre ich das? Guck mal her. Ich? Ich schäle Kartoffeln. Ja? He peels potatoes. He works in the cookhouse. Oh. Huh. Oh, you said no, I suppose. Why should I? Well, because we never had cows at Flambars. Don't know nothing about them. Neither do I, but I'm willing to learn. But, but I ain't a cow. I'm a groom. Well, it's no good looking like that. I've bought them. You have what? But I can't even milk one. It can't be all that difficult. Where are the others? Well, they're in the kitchen having tea. Is our prisoner with them? Fritz? Master sneaked in when Mary wasn't looking. Maybe he can milk cows. Pass good off, yeah? <coughs> Nein. <laughs> Noch mal. Na, siehst du. Fritz! Hey, Fritz, can you milk a cow? Wie, bitte? Cow. Can you milk one? Ich melken. Oh. Ja. Well, I said he could. I think we've been very lucky. But Chrissy, the soldier can do tricks. Oh, that's what we've been doing. Yes, we were pebble. You show him Fritz. Why is everyone calling him Fritz? Is that your name? Fritz. Uh, your name. Hans Wolfgang? Ach so, uh, nein. Ich heiße Wilhelm. 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 Ja. Wilhelm? William. That's a good name. I'm sure that man's a farmer. Well, he can drive a cow. Ah, Daisy, hast du gut gemacht. Hey, du. So, bitte schön.
Hey, Fritz. Here, like some grub. What is it? got a farm of his own. Will help. Yeah. Do you have a farm? A farm? Hmm. A farm. Ob ich eine Farm habe? Yes, it's the same name, isn't it? Nein, nein, ich, ich bin nur kleiner Pächter. Äh, passen Sie mal auf. Äh, eine Farm ist groß, ja? Und meine Farm... <laughs> it's ganz, ganz klein. <laughs> Moment, bitte, ja? Schauen Sie diesmal an, ja? Oh, this is your family? Ja. Are these all your children? Uh, fünf. Ja, das ist mein Bruder. All right. You've seen my tobacco? Me? No. Don't know anything about it. Der älteste Sohn, der da, der ist gefallen. Da? Äh. You mean he's dead? The filthy hun! He's taken it! Mrs. Russell, man! He's pinched my tobacco. You stay where you are. Harry! Put that down, you daft apers. I'm sure he's got it, Mrs. Russell. What are you doing to him? What's this, then? Gnädige Frau, das ist ganz unmöglich. Ich hab die Dose einfach nicht geklaut. Beweisen Sie das. Dick! Dick, old boy, how are you? Also? Gott sei Dank. Endlich jemand, der Deutsch kann. Wie können Sie das beweisen? Na, erstens rauche ich nicht. Und zweitens, wenn ich die Dose geklaut hätte, dann hätte ich die anderswo in der Tasche versteckt. Außerdem wollen die beiden... Ach, die plagen mich restlos. Ach so. Well, Mama, don't think you pinched them. Apart from the fact that he says he doesn't smoke, he says that even if he had pinched them, his, his uniform pocket would be the last place he'd have hidden them. Well, that don't sound as daft as you two. You ain't gonna believe him, are you? Well, I'd sooner believe him than you couple of lazy good for nothing. Sorry, miss. I think you two had better keep quiet after what he's been telling me about you. Right, well, come on, get back to work. Use that fork for something useful. Unload those sacks. Leave it tight. Wenn Sie nicht da gewesen wären. Tja, Sie haben Glück gehabt. Und wie? Well, Mrs. Russell, how do you think I'm getting on in my new job? What made you change your mind? Well, the doctor at the hospital said that what I needed was exercise, fresh air and good food. And did I think I could get a job on a farm? <laughs> how did you learn to speak German? In hospital. All the orderlies were German prisoners. I was there for nearly a year. So I picked it up quite quickly. Uncle Dick, I've got a pony. Ooh. Have you now? Are you all right? I think he's wearing spurs. Will you come and see my pony? No, you go and get him ready while I drink my tea. Are you sure you're all right? Yes, of course. Uncle Dick, you won't go away, will you? No, Tizzy, I'm here to stay. I'm going to go and live up at the old farmhouse. As long as your Auntie Chrissy will have me. Good, don't be long. He gets very confused. Yesterday, he asked me if Fowler was my husband. <laughs> I do 
don't see why we have to go in the trap. It's no distance at all. There's no sense in tiring yourself out. Mary can walk there, so can I. Ah, oh, but you'll get swollen ankles. Hello, Mary. It's not as big a mess as I expected, ma'am. No, I'm quite surprised. There's not much wrong with the roof, as far as I can see. It's the windows being so filthy. It makes it look worse from the outside. There's some bright curtains. It will look quite cosy. Yeah. It's painting, though, inside and out. Oh, well, I can do that. I don't want you doing too much. Oh, painting's no bother. It'll be a while before I can do the really heavy jobs, of course, though, ma'am. There is a condition attached to this job, though. Yes? You have to call me Christina, not ma'am. Is that what you say, Mary? Yes, I do. Christina, ma'am. wonder what Tizzy's up to. I'm probably wandering around the farm buildings. Oh, and another thing. I can't have you eating down here all on your own. So I think you should come up to Flambard's for supper in the evening. Thank you, ma'am. I'm not much of a hand at cooking. Then what are we cleaning up this place for? If he's going to be up there all the time? Well, I'll settle for this then, ma'am. Christina, not ma'am. You're in charge now. Sorry. Christina. Uncle Dick! Uncle Dick! Yes, Tizzy? Come with me and see the barn. All right, Tizzy. Did you say I was in charge? Uncle Dick, come on! Come in, Tizzy. Okay, Dick. Okay. Right, let's Good go. Lad. Yes, Tizzy, I'll come up and tell you a story. Go on. Pick these on the way over. I thought they might brighten the place up. Yeah. I'm not very happy with it yet. Oh, it's all right for me. No, it's too spartan. Oh, I don't mind. I'll have some furniture sent down from the house. It doesn't matter, you know. I'm really quite happy. Dick, you can't live like this. Why not? Well, because you run flambards now. You're as good as any other farmer in the district. Thornton, Lucas, Masters. 
They're landowners. I bet they don't think of me like that. I just have to learn. Oh, yeah. Maybe in a hundred years or so. No, not oh, in a hundred years or so. Now, even if it means I have to drag them into the 20th century. You're beginning to sound like one of those suffragettes. Well, maybe that's not a bad thing. They know how to speak up for themselves. May I speak? I've been meaning to say ever since you mentioned Lucas's name that I met him this morning. What did you really say? Well, he said that he was going to send you an invitation for Sherry on Sunday morning. Oh, did he? And he didn't invite you? I didn't expect him to. Didn't you? No, of course not. Some more apple pie. Oh, no, thank you. I've had quite enough. Now, the doctors have plenty of good food. You're trying to turn me into a big fat farmer. No, I'm not. <laughs> well, you've been working hard. And I've eaten well. This room must be full of memories for you. Yes. Yes, it is. I've changed it about a bit. Of course, in the old days, I was never allowed in here. I wasn't even allowed in the house. Except when Mr. Russell wanted to tell me off. And of course, when I got the sack. Oh, please don't. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, it doesn't matter anymore, does it? Anti-aircraft guns. Yes. They're bombing London again. You can always hear it when the wind comes in this direction. Sometimes you can see Gothers and BE-12s. I lived and breathed aeroplanes with William. I'm surprised you get on so well with Wilhelm. I think that being in the war would make me hate Germans. Lots of people do. People at home do. Those who haven't done any fighting. You mean like Fowler and Mary? She probably believes Germans eat babies. What? It's the sort of thing that's being put about. I've heard people say it. Oh, it's ridiculous. Yeah. But people believe it. Might as well tell me. I'll find out sooner or later. Well... Well what? Well, it's not proper. What's not proper? The way you treat him. Oh, you mean like an equal? You in your condition. Mary, Dick is my equal. And it's got absolutely nothing to do with my condition. Oh, I wish it was all over. It makes me feel so tired all the time. Well, it's not proper. And I think you should stay away from him, too. Oh, Wilhelm. You in your condition. I forgot. Germans eat babies. Oh. I wondered what it was. What? Tizzy's fingers. Fingers? They've been disappearing. It must be Wilhelm. He's eating them for breakfast. Whoa. No, I'm going back. No, you're not. I don't know why I agreed in the first place. Because I'm very persuasive. Yeah, not half. But I've changed my mind. And I'll just have to change it back again. Come on, walk on. Why did I just drop you there and wait? Because that's not being radical. 
That's one of William's words. And it means you've got to challenge things. I don't want to challenge anything. Spoken like a servant. I'm not a servant. Well, you certainly want to behave like one. No, I don't. I just don't want to behave like them. Nobody's asking you to. Christina, I'm not like them anyway. No, you're better. Because you're not afraid to get your hands dirty. Stand. Stand. Careful where you put your feet. I haven't seen them for ages. Now, they've seen both of us, Dick. So if you don't come in now, you're a servant. And you always will be. So glad you could come, Christina. Good morning. Good morning. Dick, take the trap on the back, there's a good chap. Since Mr. Wright and I can only stay a few moments, we wondered if we could leave it there. Oh, um, yes, um, that'll be all right. Um, I thought, yes, um, may Lewis take your coat? Yes, of course. Hello, Mrs. Lucas. Christina, how nice to see you. Oh, Dick, would you go through to the kitchen? Uh, Lewis, serve the drinks. Make yourself comfortable, my dear. Thank you. Mr. and Mrs. Thornton, you know Mr. Wright? Yes, I remember him very well. You're looking very well, my dear. I feel very well. We've got a mare in foal at uh. the... How are things going along at Clamart? Oh, very well, considering. We didn't have much of a harvest this year. But it's made a big difference having Mr. Wright to help us. You didn't join our boys at the front, Mr. Wright. I was invalided out, Mrs. Lucas. Mr. Wright was injured by a German uh, shell in France. I'm sorry to hear that. Not too badly, I hope. Badly enough to prevent him from going back, Mrs. Lucas. Uh, you've got yourself a German prisoner, I hear. Yes. Is he as useless as our two? No, he's really quite good. The one I've got is a disaster. From what I can make out, he's an optician by trade, and he doesn't know one end of a beast from the other. Now, you'll never believe this, but I found one of mine putting a horse collar on a bullock. <laughs> can you imagine? I believe they use bullocks instead of horses for some farm work in Germany, Mr. Lucas. Do they? Oh. Well, that might explain it. Damn funny, these Huns. Down in the village, they say the Germans eat babies. Don't be so ridiculous, woman. But I've heard that, too. It's all propaganda, my dear. Beg your pardon? Stories they put about to make us feel we're all fighting monsters. Oh, well, I still don't like them. Well, I'd expect it to. I'd be glad if I could just get a little bit of work out of mine. Well, they're jolly cheap, I must say. Well, what's the point if they won't work? I mean, my second one's a big, strong chap, but he refuses to understand what's wanted of him. Yeah, I think they're rather clever at that. How do you manage, Christina? Very well. You can get through to him? Yes, of course. You mean with, with sign language or something? No, that's not necessary. Don't say that you've got one that speaks English. No. Then how do you manage? I've been very lucky. I think Mr. Wright's the only farmer in the county who speaks fluent German. Ah. Ah. Das Baby kommt, ja? Also ganz, ganz langsam. Langsam. So, ich bringe sie ins Haus. So ist richtig. Gut. Dick! Hey! Dick! Lass bitte den Arm voll, ja? Baby kommt. Baby, come on. Mary! Mary's in the village. Oh, Lord. Come on, let's get you upstairs. Get down the village. Get Mary the doctor. Sally, come get Alice. Fritz, come get 
Out of that shaft there. Keep, keep it steady now. Right, where's the hole? Here you go, look. Oh. oh, sit down. Can you get yourself in the bed, all right? Good. Don't worry. Mary will be back soon. Now, I'll be downstairs if you want me. All right? Good girl. Ganz bestimmt. Well, we found these old sheets upstairs. I suppose they'll be. It's on its way. I'm coming! Von unten. Du machst das? Oh, ich weiß Bescheid. Wilhelm says he knows what to do. Oh. Wilhelm! Oh. Bitte! about. He's been living them before. Twice, he says, when they were snowed under and the doctor couldn't get through. Well, then. I ain't worried. <coughs> kind of angst, kind of angst. Help me. Kind of angst, Mrs. Russell. sometimes. Well, you don't know what you're making all the fuss about. Horses manage all the time. I hope you're right. Of course I am. There's Mary. How he was. She ain't got the doctor with her. Trouble getting Dr. Porter, but he'll be here in a minute. Now, how is she? I think you might be too late. What? Well, the baby's starting to come. Oh, sense preservers. Well, what's happening? Well, I'll fetch his midwife in. What? His what? Uh, don't worry about it. Hayes delivered him before. Oh, you must go mad. She's a spitting image of her mother. Well, that's darn good midboy, Vina. You, you tell him that, tell him. Uh, er sagt, du hast das gut gemacht. Yeah. Ach so. Danke. In Deutschland sagt man, dass die Engländer Babys ersticken. <laughs> He says it in Germany, people say that the English suffocate babies. Ah, uh, the things people say. <laughs> 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 